Okay, so I've been having this issue where a lot of people complain that PMXE doesn't start or does some sort of weird, goofy stuff. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to fix PMXE for good. Because, oh boy, it's been driving me mad. So, first thing first, before we start, you gotta make sure you have a few things installed and also, well, make sure you have PMXE from learnmd.com and you've also downloaded the resources and what, what, and what I mean by that are the system requirements programs right here from this page from this DVNR post that the site leads to or the link in the site leads to but also make sure you are using the right PMXE version okay so yeah, also make sure you've installed PMXE correctly. For that, I have a video right here in the corner. And let's get to it. So this, those weird issues are happening usually because, well, DirectX is corrupt. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a post that guided me onto doing this because I haven't experienced this, issues, this little weird thing that's been keep on happening to a lot of people. And yeah, that issue believes to fix PMXE and it fixed PMXE for a few people. And well, yeah, it f fixed. I gave that link to our, some other people, but hey, enough talking, let's get to it. So first and first, make sure you download all of those, ex uh, except right here where it says Microsoft C++ 2010 redistributable, blah, blah, blah you get your right system version. If you don't know how, or if you don't know what type of system you have, well... And there you go. That's how you find out. So, let's get to it. I already downloaded all those and I've put them all in a folder right here. And what you wanna do, well, first thing first, just fix DirectX. And DirectX is for me this one. Yes, I agree to everything, and now you gotta extract it, simply browse, and choose a folder, a new folder, and put your, where to put all the programs. I'm not gonna put it here because I already downloaded and extracted everything. And well, simply, go through the process of setting up DirectX, sorry for the black image, and click I accept the agreements, install next, and right now it's simply going to install everything and well, kind of fix most of your issues. So while this does its little thingy, we're going to start, well, diagnosing every our issue. So this usually happens because there's some sort of corruption or there's well, Windows screwed up some files in your computer and, well, they are not running properly and that's why PMXC doesn't open or even some games do not open. So, if you're also having problems with, with some games, try doing that and, well, see if the program now works. And by, what I mean by the program is PMXC or the game. And after you've done that, see if, see if PMXC still has the not opening issue or if not, well, continue with this video. So right here are the .NET framework 4.5. And I get this message saying that, well, .NET framework 4.5, it's already part of my operating system. Same or higher version of 5 already installed on this computer. In my case, it's part of my computer, but hey, if it's not, there's a repair option like it's gonna be in the C++ 2010. And right here you can see, please select one of the following operations. Well, you wanna click repair C++ 2010. And click next and, well, wait for it to do, to do its job. That was fast. And no thank you. Where was I? So, Right now, check again if PMXE is working. If not, well, 
I'm sorry, but you've got some weird issues where simply, I don't know how to call this, but there are some other files screwed up in your computer. And you might want to look into, into reinstalling or fixing your Windows installation. I'm not going to show you how to do that because this is only a PMXZ tutorial on how to fix the most common issues. There are all of our tutorials. Do the exact same thing I showed you. Just, just simply open a new tab and search how to fix Windows 10 or how to repair install. Heard that? Repair install. That should also do the trick for you. Or maybe if you don't have any important files on your computer or if you have your files backed up somewhere, you could reinstall Windows. I'm not the person to talk about, to help you about this problem. On Twitter, if you have Twitter, which most of you have, well, there's the micro support team, which can help you a lot. And it helped me in the past and when I have some weird issues that I cannot find the answer or anything like that. Well, I go to them and they just help me. That's that's what they're paid for. You don't have to pay them though. So just go to them, ask them questions and well, they can help you a lot. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave down in the description below the tutorial I followed to make this video, but also remember that in all my tutorials, I try to add something extra or well, explain something better. So that tutorial did not fully made me to do this video or well, yeah, you get what I mean. Anyway, I was Albert from Monity Studios. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and all that bells and whistles. Bye.